Over the past few days, Russia has carried out airstrikes to support ground operations aimed at encircling the city on the outskirts of Donetsk. The Institute for the Study of War, a U.S. think tank, assesses that Russian forces may have tried to cut Ukrainian supply lines to Avdiivka to isolate the town. However, Ukrainian defenders continue to hold their positions and have repulsed 23 Russian attacks. According to further reports by Euromaidan, Russian units have carried out infantry attacks near the settlements of Stepov, Pervomaysk, and Novokolonov to block the main access road to Avdiivka. So far, these attacks have yielded no results, and Ukrainian forces still control the main highway to the city. Fighters of the 14th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces destroyed three tanks of Russian invaders attacking their positions. The unit's public relations service reported this on the official page on the social network Facebook, publishing the relevant video taken by an unmanned aerial vehicle. The video shows a direct hit on a moving tank, but from what weapons, it is not specified and is not clear to Ukraine. Maybe from high precision. This doesn't look like an anti-tank mine explosion. Another video recorded with an unmanned aerial vehicle shows the destruction of large interventionist infantry assault groups in snow-covered fields and forest paths with various types of weapons. Russian forces continue to advance near Abiyevka and Ukrainian forces repulsed attacks in the northeast, west, and southwest. According to a Ukrainian general staff report, Russia has carried out airstrikes in support of ground operations aimed at encircling the city on the outskirts of Donetsk. The Russian army continues to conduct active offensive operations in the area of responsibility of the Kortitsia grouping of operational and strategic forces. Commander of the ground forces of the Ukrainian armed forces, Colonel General Oleksandr Sursky, said this in a post on Telegram. According to him, the Russians in the Kupiansk direction use units consisting of former Storm, Storm Z and Storm V prisoners to attack Ukrainian positions. The presence of former Wagner fighters who also joined in the attack was noted. According to him, hostilities continue near Ivanivka and Sinkivka of the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian armed forces fighters used kamikaze drones to destroy an armored attack column of Russian invaders. The Telegram channel Flying Skull published a related video, edited from footage captured by the barrage of munitions and the control of the drone itself. First, we see a kamikaze fly into a small, apparently destroyed building near the train tracks and explode inside. Fighters of the unmanned aerial vehicle unit, Asgard 25, of the 25th Separate Sykeslav Airborne Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces destroyed or damaged a tank, truck and mortar of the Russian invaders. This was reported by the Telegram channel Asgard FPV Force, publishing a related video edited from footage taken by an FPV kamikaze drone and controlled unmanned aerial vehicle. Ukraine declared an airstrike warning across its territory on November 27 as Russian attacks continued overnight and parts of the country grappled with the impact of days of heavy snowfall and strong winds from a Black Sea typhoon. On the battlefield, Ukrainian troops launched 63 close-quarters engagements along the front lines over the past 24 hours, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said on November 27. The heaviest fighting took place in the eastern Kharkiv and Donetsk regions, the military said. The British Ministry of Defense said in its daily intelligence report on November 27 that the past month and a half had seen perhaps Russia's highest casualty rate in the war so far, largely due to Moscow's attack on Abdiivka. Throughout November, Russian losses reached a daily average of 931 troops, the ministry reported citing the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. As of November 27, Russia had lost approximately 325,580 troops in Ukraine, 
while defense intelligence cannot verify the methodology. When calculated in total, including deaths and injuries, the figures are reasonable, the new report said. The Ukrainian military previously reported that Russian forces lost about 10,000 troops, more than 100 tanks, more than 250 other armored vehicles and seven Su-25 aircraft in a month of fighting near Avdiivka. In the Kupian direction, the northernmost front in the Kharkiv region, our defenders repulsed three attacks of Russian invaders in the Sinkivka and Petropavlivka areas. This, among others, was reported by the press center of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in a morning summary published on the official page of the social network Facebook. Concerns have recently emerged that public support for continued military funding for Ukraine has declined. Political shifts in Europe also show new leadership in a number of countries that is more skeptical of continued support for Ukraine. Ukrainian troops attacked an aircraft factory in the Russian city of Solenk on the evening of November 27, Promadsk Media reported, citing its source in Ukraine's military intelligence agency. The following day, Promadsky updated the report, saying that Ukraine's military intelligence agency confirmed that the attack was their special operation. No further details were provided. Smolensk is located almost 400 kilometers southwest of Moscow and about 300 kilometers from the Russian-Ukrainian border. From fall 2022 to winter 2023, Russia launched a series of mass attacks across the country, targeting critical infrastructure locations and causing widespread power outages. The local government was forced to set a blackout schedule to save electricity. In October, President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that this winter, Russia would seek to destroy Ukraine's energy infrastructure with more attacks. So far, the power situation across the country is fairly stable, even as Russia continues to target critical infrastructure. 